In this video, I talk about why you should start your own online landscape photography business in 2021 and make more money from it. Hi, I'm Kim from Landscape to Art. If this is your first timer, make sure you click the subscribe button below the video. For every business, is the, the key question is how do I make more money? And this also applies to landscape photographers. The answer is simple. There are two ways to make more money. And that is to increase the price of your current products or to sell more products to the same audience or to a new audience. Despite this, many landscape photographers seem to do the total opposite. They are lowering the prices by giving huge discounts. And they are creating more or new product instead of focusing on selling the current products. And none of these are, are good ideas. Make sure you watch this video till the end because the last tip is extremely powerful and, and something very few photographer businesses take advantage of. So let's get started. Let's first discuss how to increase your profit. Many photographers use discounts to, to sell more products and discounts just leave you less profits. And if that's not what you want. And here is a mistake. If, if the profit margin is low, Selling more of the same product won't help you. So if you already make small margins, trying to sell more will just make you turn you into deeper and deeper trouble. So if you're jumping on the price war wagon, you're off to a race to the bottom. And in the end, this is a lose-lose situation, both for you and for your customers. If you don't make money or make profit from your business, it means that you don't have the resources to support your customers. And on the long term, this will just lead you to less happier customers and, and a bad reputation for you. And bad word of mouth is the worst that can happen to any business. And there is no strategic advantage of being the second lowest priced offer. Then you will lose anyhow. So if you can't afford or can't be the cheapest, try to be among the most expensive offers. And you can do this, by, do this by adding additional value to your products. Another way to, to make more money is to solve bigger problems. And there is a direct correlation between more money and solving problems. A really simple example of this is a photographer that buys your Lightroom course because it's cheap. It's on sale with an 80% discount. You, you're likely getting a lot of customers that, that will buy this course, but very few of them will probably open it or even start or finish the course and you will not get any feedback. Compare this to another photographer that wants to learn Lightroom because it will give him a competitive edge when he's applying or, or even in his current job. So this customer is likely to accept a higher price. The actual price and perceived value are just totally different things. What you think is expensive is not necessarily expensive for another person. For this person, your thing might add more value that you, you actually understand. And for this person, the value of, of what he gets from your offer is high and thus he is willing to pay more. And this brings us to the next topic. You must sell to the right audience. If you're targeting the wrong person, he will not buy no matter how cheap you sell. He might be buying, but that's not what you want. You want customers that are happy with and using your, your products. You want customers that take action and, and give you good feedback after they have finished your course or, or attended your, your workshop, whatever you are selling. This is why it's so important that you know exactly who your target audience is and that you attract this audience through your marketing efforts. Watch this video next to learn more about how to attract the right audience to your business. The next point is sell fewer products. This might sound counterintuitive, but there are two disadvantages of having too many products. More products doesn't automatically result in more sales and more products complicate the marketing efforts and it's more expensive. And especially if your audience is different for these different products you're selling. If you sell prints, workshops and editing courses, the, the audience is different between these products. It takes more of your time to market to all of them and meaning more hustle for you. You must determine which of the offers are most profitable and focus on the most important of them. Don't try to sell too many products. Ideally, you offer, offer products that follows the, the natural path and a journey of an ideal customer. The next point is sell digital products. Digital products are easier to create and, and, and 
compared to like producing or, ma or making prints. Digital products are also scalable and that's probably the biggest advantage with digital products. They are less expensive to make and, and you make more profit from, from them. The types of digital products that you can create are endless. Still it seems that the majority of landscape photographers offer post-processing courses. And the reason is probably because it's easy to make. It's nothing wrong with editing courses, but when the competi competition is high, you must find ways to stand out from the crowd. And as I mentioned earlier, the next point is a very important concept to understand. And this point is called the value ladder or, or the customer journey. Because different people starts at different levels and you should offer something to every, every level of your audience, from beginners to more experienced. A total newbie photographer is not likely to spend a lot of money on a workshop. This client might be interested in learning how to photograph first before he goes to a workshop. So a less expensive course, a digital course might be the right offer for him to begin with. And as he learns more and develop the, the photography skills, a workshop might be the next step for, for him that you can offer to this customer. It is very important to understand the value ladder and, and it's an advantage for both the customers and you as a business owner. You have an offer to all levels of your ideal customers. So what's the advantage with the ladder for you as a business owner? Many landscape photographers start or, or want to start business because they want to travel. And first of all, this is expensive and it takes a lot of time. And second, you have to make money when you start a business. So creating a digital product first is less risky and, it's a, and, the, and the investment is lower. And the digital product is, as I said, the first step on the value ladder. And the audience is, is targeted and, and it's a bigger audience. You can market broader. And I haven't talked yet about the first step on the ladder. And this is, is to capture the relevant leads and get them on your email list. You capture these leads by offering them something for free, like a lead magnet or a freebie. And you can learn more about the lead magnets on, on this video. When you build your business this, this way, you, you make money first and this funds your further growth. And when you start running workshops, you get a lot of possibilities later to both travel and to take photos. So doing this stepwise is the best model to, to, to build a business. Most successful photography businesses these days offer some sort of digital products. These products are a natural part of the value ladder because of the scalability and cost effectiveness and profit. And if this resonates with you and you want to learn more about how to start a landscape photography business, watch this video next. And until next time, hadebra, goodbye.